This week, we celebrate our awesome library and raise funds for our schools. We will talk budgets and bugs and shred some documents. All that and more this week in Westland. The COVID-19 crisis has been in a constant state of change over two years now. Because of this, local, state, and national health agencies has been adapting their recommendations accordingly. While the long-term future of the virus is still unknown, many experts believe we can now begin transition from a pandemic to an endemic. That is why Wayne County Health Department has decided to change the days and hours of operation for a hybrid testing and vaccination site located in the Jefferson Barn Center. Through June 4th, the site will be open Wednesdays from 1 to 5 p.m. and also Fridays from noon until 4. There is no need for an appointment and you will not be charged to be seen. The Jefferson Barn Center is located at 32150 Dorsey Road in Westland. This is National Library Week and it is time to celebrate our libraries, the talented workers who keep them going and all the great things they bring to the community. For 25 years, our Wesleyan Public Library has been a place for people of all ages to come and learn, be entertained, participate in classes, and of course, borrow all types of reading material. A quick glance at the events page on their website will show you just how much they have to offer. There are over 50 classes or events going on this month alone. So I encourage everyone to head up to the library on Central City Parkway, thank the staff for all that they do, and see what you've been missing. On Friday evening, there will be a special fundraising event in the gallery at City Hall. The Wayne Wesleyan Education Foundation is hosting Uncorked and On Tap from 6 to 8 p.m. This 21 and over event will feature tastings of craft beer and wine from around the world, as well as food from local restaurants and caterers. The event also includes live entertainment, a silent auction, and raffle. All the proceeds from ticket sales will help support teachers, students, and programs in our school district. Tickets available now by going to eventbrite.com. Each year, the mayor is charged with submitting a proposed budget to the Wesleyan City Council. It is our practice to hold open study sessions to go over this document and discuss it in great detail. This meeting is also open to the public and includes time for them to ask their questions and give their comments on the presentation. Our first public budget study session is scheduled for Saturday, April 9th, beginning at 10 a.m. in City Hall. The meeting is scheduled to wrap up by 2 p.m. For more information, please visit cityofwestland.com. We all have plenty of documents with sensitive information on them. Bank or credit card statements, medical bills, the list goes on and on. You know it's not safe to just throw them out, so what do you do with them? The simple answer is to shred them. If you don't have a shredder at home or have way too much to take on yourself, there is help on the way. The Westland Library will be hosting a community shred day on Saturday from noon until 2 p.m. An industrial shred truck will be on hand to properly shred and dispose of your documents. You can bring up to five boxes of material to shred at no cost to you. Just come up to the Westland Library at 6123 Central City Parkway to take care of all your papers and give you a peace of mind. This week on WLND, Wesleyan City Council. This meeting of the City Council was held and recorded on Monday, April 4th in the Council Chambers of Wesleyan City Hall. Twice a year, the Friends of the Rouge conduct a bug hunt throughout the Rouge Shed. The information gathered helps to assess the health of the river and supporting streams. They are looking for volunteers to help them for the spring bug hunt, which will take place on April 23rd. In order to participate, 
you first have to register on their website. If you are interested in assisting in this vital program, please visit therouge.org to sign up and get all the details. That's it for this week in Westland. Come back next week to find out what the Inspire Theater is up to and how you can have your poetry or short story published in a book. In the meantime, be sure to visit our website, cityofwestland.com, and follow us on all your favorite social, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching.